Judges chapter 11 Now Jephthah and Gileadite was a great man of war. He was the son of a loose woman, and Gilead was his father. And Gilead's wife gave birth to sons, and when her sons became men, they sent Jephthah away, saying, You have no part in the heritage of our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. So Jephthah went in flight from his brothers and was living in the land of Tob, where a number of good for nothing men joining Jephthah went out with him on his undertakings. Now after time the children of Ammon made war against Israel. When the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the responsible men of Gilead went to catch Padat back from the land of Tob. And they said, had it come and be our chief so that we may make war against the children of Ammon. But repeat that, said to the responsible man of Gilead, Did you not in your head for me send me away from my father's house? Why do you come to me now when you are in trouble? And the responsible man of Gilead said to Shepet that that is the reason we have come back to you. So go with us and make war against the children of Ammon, and we will make you our head of all the people Gilead. Then Shepet that said to the responsible man of Gilead, If you take me back to make war against the children of Ammon, and if with the help of the Lord I overcome them, will you make me your head? And the responsible man of Gilead said to Gilead that, May the Lord be our witness, we will certainly do as you say. So Zephadat went with the responsible man of Gilead, and the people made with him head and chip over them. And Zephadat said all these things before the Lord of Mizim, Mizpah. Then the Zephadat sent me to the king of the children of Ammon, saying, What have you against me? that you have come to make war against my land. And the king of the children of Ammon said to the man sent by Jephthah, because Israel, when he came up out of Egypt, took away my land from the Anon as far as the Jabok and as far as Jordan, so now give me back those lands quietly. And Jephthah sent again to the king of the children of Ammon, and said to him, This is the word of Jephthah. In our Israel did not take away the land of Moab, or the land of the children of Ammon. But when they came up from Egypt, Israel went through the wasteland to the Red Sea and came to Kadesh. Then Israel sent me to the king of Edom, saying, Let me now go through your land. But the king of Edom did not give ear to them. And in the same way, he sent to the king of Moab, but he would not, so Israel went on living in Kaddish. Then he went on through the wasteland and around the land of Edom, 
and the land of Moab, and came by the east side of the land of Moab, and put up their tents on the other side of the Arnon, and they did not come inside the limit of Moab, for the Arnon was the limit of Moab. And Israel sent me to Sihon, king of the Amorites, the king of his bond. And Israel said to him, Let me now go through your land to my place. But Sihon was, would not give way and let Israel go through his land. And Sihon got together all his people and put his army in position in Jahaz and made war on Israel. And the Lord, the God of Israel, gave Sihon and all his people into the hands of Israel, and they overcame them, so all the land of the Amorites, the people of that land, became, became Israel's. All the limits of the Amorites was theirs, from the Anon as far as the Jabbok and from the western land even to Jordan. So now the Lord, the God of Israel, has taken away the land from the Amorites and had given it to the people of Israel. Are you then to have it? Do you not keep the land of those whom Chemosh your God sent out from before you? So we'll keep all the land of those whom the Lord our God sent out from before us. What are you any better than Balak, the son of Jeper, king of Moab? Did he ever take up a cause against Israel or make war against them? While Israel was living in his born and his daughter towns and in Aurora and his daughter towns and in all the towns which are by the side of the Anon. For 300 years, why did you not get them back at that time? So I have done no wrong against you, but you are doing wrong to me in fighting against me. May the Lord, who is judged this day, be judged between the children of Israel and the children of Ammon. The king of the children of Ammon, however, did not give ear to the words which Jephthah sent to him. Then the Spirit of the Lord came on Jephthah, and he went through Gilead and Manish, and came to Mishpah and Gilead, and from Mishpah and of Gilead he went over to the children of Ammon. And Jephthah then took an oath to the Lord and said, If you will give the children of Ammon into my hands, then whoever come out from the door of my house meeting me when I come back in peace from the children of Ammon will be the Lord and I'll give him as a bond offering. So the pattern went over to the children of Ammon to make war on them, and the Lord gave them into his hands. And he made an attack on them from Aror all the way to Minit, overrunning twenty towns as far as Abel Chiramim, and put great numbers to the sword. So the children of Ammon were crushed before the children of Israel. Then Jephthah came back to his house in Mizpah, and his daughter came out, meeting him on his way with music and with dances. She was, own, she was his only child. He had no other sons or daughters.
And when he saw her, he, oh, he was of calm with grief and said, Ah, oh, my daughter, I am crushed with sorrow, and it is you who are the chief cause of my house, for I have made an oath to the Lord, I may not take it back. And she said to him, My father, you have made an oath to the Lord, do then to me whatever you have said. For the Lord's house has sent a furry word on your haters, on the children of Ammon. Then she said to her father, Only do this for me. Let me have two months to go away. Then he said to her father, Only do this for me. Let me have two months to go away into the mountains with my friends, weeping for my sad fate. And he said, Oh, then. So he sent her away for two months, and she went with her friends to the mountains, weeping for her sad fate. And at the end of the two months, she went back to her father, who did with her as he had said in his oath, and she shall never been touched by a man. So it became a rule in Israel for the for the women to go year by year, sorting for the daughters and of Jephthahs and Gileadites, four days in every years.